All right, so let's um, let's get back to picking mitts and yellow shirts or something here, kind of get a palate cleanser uh, before we wrap up this episode. <laughs> oh, yes, let's please do that. <laughs> yeah. All right, Chris, what overall were your impressions of the episode this week? Yeah, man, like I said, um, it, it felt like a Trek episode um, the whole time, <laughs> except for that unfortunate ending. But um, no, I mean, they're hitting like they promised us a plan of the week type show and i feel like they're they're really hitting those strides man it's uh i thought i wouldn't like the non major arcs that you know discovery is doing but i'm finding out every week that no i don't actually mind it a whole lot i wish they would get to the character development more still but um i understand why they don't yeah, and they they give us little pieces here and there. Um, but yeah, you're right. They they don't really focus on it, which you know, there was a time in early mid two thousands when I wished more shows did, you know, big arcs and, you know, one consistent story over a season. But now that we've had that for ten or fifteen years, I've kind of gotten back to, you know, there hasn't been a show made in ten or fifteen years where I can just throw on one episode and be cool with it. Yeah, you're right. Um, the the incremental changes in uh, any given character arc have been small enough to where if you miss an episode or two, you're not missing much. Yeah, you can you can kind of catch up that episode, you know. Now I'm sure there will be some episodes that further a character arc like strongly in that episode, and maybe those are episodes not to miss. But for the most part. Yeah, even uh, so we're up to what episode 6 now. Yeah, I don't I don't feel like maybe the Mbinga stuff in this episode where the the daughters in the in the buffer. That's like the only thing though that really like you might want a little bit of background on, but even in the the episode that you found it out on, there wasn't even a lot of background on that. I still feel like watching this episode you could get kind of all the background you need minus the fact that una authorized like a, a soul power supply for this purpose no i'll, I'll, I'll definitely give you that uh, everything you needed to watch this episode is in this episode uh you know the mbinga's daughter rakia she, what you need to know about her they they set it all up in here you know there is not a previous episode of pike and Alora, you know on a crash shuttlecraft that we have to watch Everything is all self-contained in here. So I, I enjoy it. I mean, I think I think from what we've seen, and we'll be able to tell later if I go back and rewatch the episodes for enjoyment later, but I think they know what they're doing with it. Yeah. Yeah. They got a good cast. They got good writers. They got good producers. You know, it just seems to me like they've got a real handle on what they're shooting for here. Yeah, for sure. I think I give every episode I've seen this season a 9 or a 10 out of 10. I don't really think there's been anything bad in any of them. I mean, the only one that I really had huge issues with was when we found out Una was a Cylon. But other than that. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> that did come off a little little weird. I didn't care for that one too much. Yeah, that did come off a little weird. But still, I mean, it was it was some character rev- revelation. No, you're right. That actually was a major character step forward. So, no, you're right. So yeah, there's, there's something there. Well, okay, Chris, <laughs> let's go ahead and begin to wrap up here. Where are we headed next week? Oh, so here's where we start out next week. We're on an icy warship and Binga and a bitter journalist are dating, but for whatever reason, his mission is to assassinate her. But then finally <laughs> they get married. <laughs> Dude, I, I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to that episode right now. <laughs> That sounds amazing. <laughs> oh, man. 